okay so this will be the second video uh, to make the ball animation with the music so we, in this video we will like discuss all the pr process and in the previous video uh, if we just uh, uh, don't think about the music in the previous video i already explained everything so uh, it is must watch video if you are new to blender and if you don't know like you have less knowledge of, about about the graph editor and the uh, keyframes animation uh, like that so just sit there watch this video and after watching that you have to practice it okay now move to the next topic so in which we will add music uh, and it will be like the ball will be uh, following the music something like that and for the music you have to download the tune for any movie or a tune of any song which will which you will think think it will be an amazing video like the other people are doing here and if you don't have any like tune or music you can also make the uh, music here on this website music lab so for this uh, it is a song maker and it has different setting i don't uh, know how to use it and just have little knowledge i just found about this website in another tutorial so you just watch the tutorial of this how to make the tunes so like that you will have a template like that you just have to click restart and here you can add the music so like that if i have this uh, blocks the kit uh, and uh, here we have piano strings here to add two here means and here we have piano so uh, we created a, a music song maker so just try it and if you don't have any tune or music or you can find it you know, on google to have a good tune okay so this is the one thing the music lab you can you can make your own tone now move to the next point and here i i have opened the blender this is the default view i am going to just delete everything and uh, this in this tutorial we will go slow so the tutorial will be boring so you can just follow this tutorial uh, and follow each step and try to do it in your computer or just sit here and watch this complete tutorial and then do it by yourself so by doing it uh, you are going to uh, make this animation but by just sitting and watching it will not help so much so even if you sit here and watch then go and practice so after getting a lot of practice you will become uh, very good with it it is not a difficult thing only thing is that you have to understand the process so shift a i am going to add a cube so you already know that how to add a cube s and z it is not a modeling tutorial so you just have some basic knowledge of modeling s and x i am going to scale it so this is our structure so people are making this structure in, in different ways you can do that you can put your art skills and see like what what structure you are going to do it some people are also just uh, using the slender and i am going to move it and place it here and just uh, or or my 90 and make it smaller and like that so on this structure the ball will hit so it is only the art of your creativity how you put things together i'm just going to only tell you the process so s and y i am going to make it small this structure uh, we can make a hole here we can also add a cylinder which is attaching with it and this structure is attaching to a wall so your artistic skills are also needed here how you put things the only thing i am going to tell you how the ball will follow the music okay so this is the one structure and i am going to press one uh, sorry three so we are in the front this is the right side view uh, i want to make it in the front so r z and make it here rotate it 90. now if i press one it will be in front of us like that and shift a and i am going to add a uv sphere and place it here make it small or uh, this pick is good i am going to make it s and x like that so for the 
purpose uh, you can make this ball like in different style so you can have a marble ball you have and you can design it and texture it like a football some people are using also a cylinder to make this video okay so here we have this ball and we have our structure uh, only one structure here so now oh, i am going to tell the process how we put the music so this ball will just follow the music okay so here we have this uh, timeline uh, where we can add the keyframes and i am going to move my mouse here and uh, right click and the horizontal split and make it here so now we have two windows so for this one i am going to change it to a video sequencer okay so we have a video sequencer here and here we are going to add the music we can create the music here or you just have a tune of any film drama season song anything you find okay so go here add and we are going to add music and for the music i am going to go to downloads to find the folder for me where is that uh, and in the video the ball animation and here we have this video so now uh, using the this sequencer video sequencer we added this music so if i am going to uh, click in this environment and press n and i am going to select here so here you can see display a wireframe i am going to check it so now we have the wireframe here i am going to press n okay i'm going to press n here while this one and this one we have music like that so here i'm going to press n this display waveform if you click it you can say this waveform of this music okay so basically uh, why you needed that uh, because you can now know that on which frame uh, the music is playing so if i click here I, i'm going to play this uh, uh, timeline and now listen the song so when it's here like on the frame 4 and here we have this tune then the next tune is here on this frame so let me play like that so this ball will follow and uh, these tunes and the basic concept is that if you watch in the other uh, uh, in in other videos like here go into this channel this channel it's only make the videos the ball videos and he have the subscriber of 1.08 million he only make these videos uh, and and here you can see if i am going to open this one you know you can see the the music is playing when this hit this structure the ball hit the structure we have a tone here it's rolling you can also add this rolling so when it hits it give you the music and then hit to next one it give you the music okay so here you can see uh, on which on which uh, like keyframe the music uh, your ear will listen the music so for this one it's like four so i'm going to go to the one press one and you have to take care of the distance like we discussed in the last video uh, you have to take care of the distance like uh, between this two frame one to four how much distance this ball have uh, from this structure so it will also depend uh, because distance matter the time uh, we have the time so if it, it has less uh, distance the ball will go uh, like fast if it, it if the like the distance is uh, large and the time time the keyframe between is less it will go very fast so you have to take care uh, for this one so on one uh, i'm saying this ball will hit this one so here i'm going to press i and i am going to put the location keyframes and here you can see we added this location and i am going to check this auto keying and the auto keying for the location is activated now if you go to keying and here active keying set so it will not uh, add the uh, like the rotation scale so we have to add this constraint for location now whenever it will move it will only add the 
location key frame uh, for now okay so next if i am going to play it by pressing the space bar so here you can see the ball will hit at this point at this point at this point we listen the music right on keyframe 4 so i am going to move this ball here on this point so now at frame 4 the ball is touching this one so now it's just stop okay so it's not uh, feeling very good uh, because we have to add the rest of the structure so i'm just going to make it smaller this one also smaller this one we it a little bit like that okay i am going to copy it shift d to duplicate it move it here and now we just have to think it in our mind and just wake up our creativity like how we are going to add the next structure so here you can see it's giving the music here and where we will listen the second tone so here we have this second tone on frame 13 so now we want this ball to move here on this frame uh, on this structure so we can also make this structure on, on the top on here uh, and how much distance this will have it's all about uh, your creativity like if you place this structure here uh, like that and now the last tune was at frame 4 and now we we are going to go to the frame 13 so how much uh, distance like uh, this is the time frame 4 to frame 13 we are going and uh, listening the next tune so according to that you have to uh, give the distance uh, for this second structure so it will like uh, uh, feel very satisfying so you have to also make this calculation in your mind like how much distance you are giving from structure a to structure b and the uh, for the timing it's from here this ball will moving uh, from frame 4 to frame 13 so you also have to calculate this uh, distance like it will make sense uh, we are moving from uh, frame 4 to 13 and we just if we keep it a, a near to it it will not look very good so you just have to give some uh, distance between this point and this point like that in, in the x distance uh, or the uh, like z distance in the front view okay so frame 13 we have to move this ball uh, i'm going to move it and i'm going to place it like that and let's just uh, rotate this one like that you can also rotate this one so just give it uh, a little bit uh, like uh, uh, the angle so uh, when the ball hit it it will move according to that angle okay so now this one it's hitting at this point on the top of it okay and if if we just now play it, it will be moving like that so frame 4 to frame 13 we have to add another frame and uh, it will give it something some height so like ball is bouncing from this structure to this structure and i'm going to select this ball and if i go to this one data properties here we also have this motion path and calculate it also it will just telling the motion path of this uh, ball so now just see it now it is making a uh, little bit sense here we listen the tune now it's moving up and again here okay now it's it's here we listen the second tone so it will move and here we have this third tone at this point we have this third tone so frame 13 to frame 14 so i am going to shift d duplicate it and frame 13 to 14 it has a uh, less distance okay now the ball is moved like that uh, like ball is going like that now it will hit on this point and it will go in in this direction so i am going to move it like that and just like that and so frame uh, 13 to 14 it has a less frame so just something like that okay so i'm going to select this one move it here and move it and place it here i'm going to move it a little bit here because the ball size is very big 
so it will it will move till this point like that okay frame 14 to 13 and add another frame like that so it will make sense the bouncing ball effect okay so this one i am going to so you can see from this frame 13 to frame 17 the ball is moving uh, very fast because we have uh, less uh, you can say the uh, time between them and to make it slow i'm going to move this one a little bit below okay and this one it will move a little bit more fast okay this one is here frame 70 i'm going to move it here this one also here so it has a less distance okay so now it will hit here and move downward and just find the next stone so here we have and here we have this next stone here we have this next stone frame 22 so shift d duplicate it or make it like that so frame 12 it will be go like that and here between them at any point we can make it like that okay so let's just try it so this one so now you can see how it's moving now see in the music the video sequencer yes. so now see in the music sequencer when we have the next tone okay here on frame 22 it reach here and the next tone is here from 22 to 31 okay so now i'm going to shift d duplicate it and place it here Put it like that. Now this ball will hit here. It will be like that. So it's moving from here to here because we have no time. Uh, like nine frame, frame frame twenty two to uh, thirty one. The next one we are listening here on thirty three frame. Here you can see this uh, and the tone is moving. Uh, waveform of this tune and now you can see that so i am going to move it here like that and frame 26 it will go like that so now see it how it's going okay so 20 uh, 31 we have this tune then we frame 31 to frame 36 we have the next tone here you can see in the waveform so i'm going to shift d so distance uh, the frames are very less between 33 to 36 so we just put here and this structure is here i'm just going to make it like that okay so frame 36 it will be go like that and here we have like that and now 36 we have this one now at this point 40 we have another tone so it's also have very less distance shift d so just keep it near to each other 
a little bit below select this one move it here and just so auto keying is very helpful and just between 36 here we are moving like that okay and, and the same way you are going to keep adding uh, till you complete your um, key like this uh, tone and one thing is that like uh, no uh, for uh, for 41 uh, 1 to 41 frame uh, we added this ball following the music at 40 uh, uh, till 40 frame and it will just like uh, uh, a little portion of our music and the ball is following it no no you can like do the rest of the things or you just stop here and just uh, like 40 uh, you just stop here and you will find this area and you move to next uh, you can do that or just keep adding these things and when when you are like uh, finish with this music just come back and like uh, make the setting in the crop editor so to make this uh, length of this tutorial short i'm not going to like do these things for rest of the music you just understand the audio of it you just have to add the video sequencer at this music file and uh, press n and here display waveform so no so you know that like uh, at which uh, key uh, at which frame or key frame you have this music so the music is in your ear at what key okay so hope so you understand this point no uh, i just uh, i'm going to stop at this point and i am going to refine this music to give it the effect of a bouncing ball so it will must look uh, satisfying animation something which have life this ball will have life it will move like uh, the ball the bouncing ball move in the real world uh, and then it will make uh, sense and it will look satisfying so this is very important so hope so if you just uh, follow it you understand the basic concept of it now we just have to use the graph editor and and if you follow the previous video you you already see that we are doing the same uh, same procedure which we did in the previous video only thing is that we only added this music uh, music file and we just and uh, making uh, we are adding the keyframe according to the uh, according to the our tone and for the tone you can see you have this so for the tone you can see that we uh, check mark the show the waveform and here we have this waveform and that's way we know that at which point we have a specific tone so that is the complete procedure now i am going to uh, join the area so join this area with that so we have a uh, good area for our uh, graph editor so i am going to go here and here we just needed the graph editor so graph editor and here you can see we have our graphs okay and so we have here uh, this graph is for the red graph is for the x axis i am going to hide it and we uh, also have the z graph uh, y location we don't needed it so we can hide it or just delete it okay and we have a z location graph okay press n and here we are going to like uh, uh, refining our animation and here i am going to uncheck this okay so go here and here you can see the ball is moving so you can see what we needed from this point ball will hit here so at this point the ball is hitting so this one i am going to press v and i am going to make it vector so at this point ball will move fast and then bounce fast and then it will go to this point and then go here on this one so for this point this one i'm going to make it a little bit above and like that Okay, so till this point, I'm going to scale it x, scale it and a little bit rotate it so the ball will feel like it's staying its highest point and then moving toward the next. So this one press V and make it vector. And same way it will go to the next point and then like that. So this point 
I am going to scale it and this one I am going to press V and make it vector and so it will go here and this point I am going to scale it and like that and this one press V to make it vector now just you can see it's making sense so this one now it will on the highest point I am going to scale it so if, if this is looking like that it's very good if it's looking like that it, it is very good so like that and then move to next and this one I am going to press V and make it better so it is very sharp and this one I am going to scale it like that and this one press V and vector so all the hitting point we are going to make it vector and all the top point we are going to scale it so ball will like stay at this point at some time and this uh, I am going to make it vector ok now check so here you can see that so like that it's these points I am going to make it a little bit above so just changing the by, by pressing this one if I am move it it will only change, change the Z location because this is the Z graph so here you can see and here we have this keep point and that's why it's, uh, it's like uh, have a dot the black dot or you can see your vertex <laughs> not vertex but it, it is basically the keyframe so just black dot so it means here we have this uh, keyframe so if i move it you can see the ball is moving and with it because it's the graph of v location so now, so at this point i am going to make it a little bit small like that this one also so now you, you may feel that the ball is not following the music but it's uh, it's and uh, because of the blender it's making things slow but when you render it it will be it will be a, the ball is following this uh, the music and now we can also see it for the x location and for the x location i'm going to press t and make it linear for the X location, we just needed the link. So now you can see the body is following the uh, music. So this is the whole process. So now the only thing is left how can you add the camera? So shift A, I am going to add a camera, camera here at this point and shift A, add a mesh, add a plane and for this plane for X90, I am going to scale it and 15 times like that and just move it like that. so we have a wall this wall it's like attaching with this point like that with this structure and here i am going to add this view 
control R and zero and now you can see we added this uh, we this is the camera view so now let's okay so that's way we add the camera and you know about the lighting and everything you can do that and and this is it this is the whole process and now the next thing is that how you how you like represent this ball animation with the music and how you render it how you like uh, add the lighting and other step in the next video we will uh, talk about something um, about the lighting how this structure have the emission but the basic thing is that, that it also need need your creativity your artistic skills and this is the basic process of uh, uh, animating the ball with the music now the next step is how you represent uh, present this animation like if if, if you are going to uh, show this uh, show the videos on this tutorial uh, he he had amazing lighting and the color and the color to this structure just see it and how you made this structure how you add it so this is the one let me show you another so here you have this mini crop so animation ball animation <laughs> So here, here you can see he he make this uh, Minecraft animation, but he also added this this structure, the Minecraft structure. Here also a Minecraft a uh, shape of uh, Minecraft like that. To so how you show this animation, how you present this animation. So your presentation also depend. Uh, let me go to shorts so we can also see the other examples clash of clients this is a game i think so now he make this uh, ball animation tool uh, for this clash of clients and here you can see uh, he added this character in the background so music and these are also the structure which is used in the game here is also another character so this representation is also matter and here you can see when this ball hit this structure the structure also have some movement see so how you represent this thing this structure movement you can simply do that by adding the shape keys like uh, if i am going to edit this one control r added a lot of geometry and i am going to add another in the middle and just select this one and here if i am going to move if i am going to move like that shift z first we have to then add a shape key so this is the basic basic one and add a key so this one is for movement this one is for movement and now make sure you select this movement and select this middle one and with the shape key just move it like that okay so when you are in the movement this value is one it will be like that if it's zero it will be in the initial position so now we just have to edit this animation for the this moment so when will ball hit this one so it will hit at keyframe 5 so what we want for this shape key at 3 at 3 it has this this value is 0 at 3 and let's go to the timeline so at 3 this structure and this moment is 0 so keyframe 4 it will be 1 and here we have like that and now on frame 5 again it's sorry this one 9 
this one is zero. We have to this one one this one zero press I Where you can see. Did you see that? So same thing you have to add for every structure. So just have to do this shape keys for one structure and then just to dupli keep duplicating this structure. So that's why it did that. In the next video, I will also uh, make this. Uh, structure and just roll this ball on this structure okay one thing is that you can also add the rotation uh, like keyframe uh, between these structures so from this one to this one this ball will rotate like 40 uh, point degree so you can also add the rotation so same way just add the rotation it is very simple and also uh, analyze any next video so here we have this uh, emission emission of the ball or the structure is structure is structure is still but the ball has emission we can also add this one in the next video i will also make another tutorial in which i will uh, tell you how to roll the ball and how to add this emission okay and so this background also matter the lighting is also matter so your artistic skill will also needed that like how you represent uh, these videos so uh, how you render these videos it also matter okay so here you can see we have this animation okay thank you so much also you understand that if you did not just comment it i will make another tutorial so don't shy and just comment if you needed to understand something thank you so much for watching this tutorial